I have a neighbor that has done six years. She is strong. Her children are strong. You are not that neighbor. I carry twins as end product of safe period. It shocked me, oh. That man over there. It's not about how tight your game is. Hello. And this person just character was cut out. Everybody, yeah. So your tent, oh Israel. Your child will literally get all this alcohol and wish wish from the breast milk. I do not advise this type of contraceptive. Yeah, I do not. Today is a reaction video. It's been a long, long time, no reaction video. Okay. If you're new to my channel, my channel is all about motherhood, yeah, pregnancy, baby, baby food recipe, yeah. So, my name is Denise Connor, a mom vlogger, a content creator that's in the New York, but I'm from Imo State, all in Nigeria. In today's video, I'm going to react on the post I saw on one of the social media I belong to. The group is specifically for mothers, yeah. Pregnant mothers, TTC mothers, nursing mothers, all of us, okay? And this group is being handled by doctors, yeah. So, this doctor made a post on one... I'll read it up, okay? Let me just read it up. Sorry, I don't have two phones. I just have to do it the analog way. This video is going to be a long one, okay? So, fasten your seatbelts to get the post, okay? So, the post says... Pull out method is only about 78% effective, meaning one in five women relying on it. That is the pull out method. Pull out method is the normal withdrawal, we all know. So, one in five women relying on it will get pregnant. It's too expensive to get pregnant by mistake. In this current state of economy, like not just the Nigeria world economy, okay. Wise up, get a reliable contraceptive. Mind you, this contraceptive, a lot of people react negatively to it. A lot of people will surely go against this post because they've been trying this withdrawal for years and it's been working for them. So, and some people to believe it's a sin to use the pull out method to prevent pregnancy so i'll be dropping their comments in the screens why i react to it then at the end of this video i'm going to talk about what i personally think about pull out methods or withdrawal methods or contraceptive in general okay so the first one that caught my eye someone said too bad I'm reacting to all form of contraceptive negatively. Really feeling so sad about it. Thinking of doing the unimaginable. What kind of unimaginable is this person talking about? So I just pray it's not what I'm thinking. Someone under the post now suggested that she should go for BTL. A lateral tubal ligation in layman's understanding is the, no, I'm not a medical practitioner, okay? So when I'm explaining things on this YouTube, I'm going to explain it in layman's understanding, like the, the way I understand it. If you want a medical advice, you should always conduct your doctor. So this BTL means bilateral tubal liga um, ligation. In layman's understanding, it means blocking your fallopian tube. This blocking of fallopian tube will prevent your eggs from getting fertilized. Blocking of fallopian tubes can be done by either... Um, my baby is weak. This can be done by either cutting the fallopian tube, burning it, or removing the fallopian tube totally. It's a surgery, and according to what I heard, the surgery is not a major surgery, it's a surgery you can do and go at the same time. Sure, it has some side effects like bleeding, of course, and um, sometimes it can cause ectopic pregnancy, whereby the, the egg is being fertilized outside the uterus, that's the womb. Let me attend to my baby. Hmm. This will be a long one. Whew. A lot has happened. 
within this a second to think that I have already made a video concerning this safe period. So someone now said, I'll be dropping the comments here. How about safe period? Is it really safe? <laughs> Considering the fact that some women actually experience period irregularities. That's irregular period. Person no go no say egg don't hang there. The weight span. We go knock, knock and turn belly. <laughs> okay, let me just. Let me read it again. Okay. The person said, is it really safe considering the fact that some women actually experience period irregularities? Person no go no say egg don't hang there. The weight span we go knock them, turn belly. <laughs> okay, so this person is just literally saying that even the safe period you can get pregnant. Yes. The shocker of this video is now said, I carry twins as End product of safe period. It shocked me, oh. <laughs> God blessed her with twins when she was trying to prevent pregnancy using the uh, natural family plan. I just think it's simply because every woman differs, like, no woman is the same. So, even if science said there is something called safe period whereby a woman can have. Um, intercourse and still be safe from pregnancy it's not going to be everybody's situation it's not going to be every woman's situation some people will go and they'll come back with you know pregnancy let us move on we draw all happy saving my life since 19 beginning wow that's for my complete 19 years you'll be using withdrawal it doesn't work for everybody this person said, I normally take a bottle of stout. In case you don't know what a stout is, a stout is an alcohol, okay? A bottle of team soda. Team soda is like a lemon drink, if I'm not mistaken. You want to follow me and do this thing. It must be taken hot and should be taken after sex, and that is it. I do not do contraceptive, it has worked for. Me, combination of alcohol with um, a supposed lemon drink, for that matter, you're boiling it. What if you're a nursing mother? That means your child literally gets all this alcohol and boborigo, all this orish rishi from the breast milk. I do not advise this type of contraceptive. Yeah, I do not. Unless maybe you're not nursing and you're ready to play with your health. Because I'm sure that no medical um, practitioner is going to advise such. Medical practitioner in the house, do you advise such? Yes, if you are watching this video and you are a medical practitioner, please drop it in the comment section. Say hi to my audience. So this one is really a long one. She said, boom, that's pull out method doesn't work. People shouldn't believe in this thing. That's, people should not believe in pull -out. It doesn't work. Okay? Life spermatozoa swim in wet places, even outside the bed canal. What about the slow withdrawal that is men who pull out too late and deposit the goods right outside the bed canal? Okay? He's talking about what about some men who cannot do the withdrawal that's the slow withdrawal who cannot pull out and they deposit their goods right outside the bed canal those sperms will, will still swim inside the bed canal hmm? inside the bed canal so this person is literally saying that even if the deposit that the spermatozoa is deposited outside the bed canal, it can still find its way and swim. Is it right? Drop it in the comment section. Have you had such experience? Okay. And get the woman pregnant. A lady and her husband didn't plan to have many children. So they used the pull out method and ended up having eight children jesus in this world economy it didn't work okay there are some people who will still believe in these and try then end up 
having unwanted pregnancies because of messages like the one above. It's solid children. Oh boy. Let's not just go about the health factor. Let's not just go about the emotional and the financial um issue the woman must be going through unless she is capable okay but even if she's financially capable what about emotional what about psychological mm, it is a lot okay for me in my opinion it is a lot so i do not know the possibility of a spermatozoa traveling from outside the bed canal to go and eat an egg i do not know the possibility but what I know is that there's something called precom. Yes, a precom is that tiny deposit of sperm that can occur before the man ejaculation. So mm, that is where that is where the withdrawal usually feels. It's not about how tight your game is. Hello, that man over there. It's not about how tight your game, your withdrawal game is. Okay. That precom you can't hold it. So moving on, moving on. This is too much information. Three and I. My withdrawal will be two years soon. I thought I should inform you all. <laughs> okay. Probably this person was using withdrawal method and she got a boy. A yes. Okay. She got a baby that is almost two years old. So she just thought to inform. All of us here. So someone said, I am part of the four that won't get pregnant. I have been using this because the family planning I did has been having negative effects on me. That's where a lot of women get confused because they've used different types of contraceptive. Contraceptive turned out so bad on them. So for if you belong to that kind or that class, or that group of women i will advise you just look out for the natural ways of pre of preventing pregnancy of facing your children because economy is not smiling and even before all this contraceptive came there's something our older generation have been doing our older our great grandmothers they've been doing something mm -hmm. so Make your research. When what I tried there when I had two babies was Oziza and other seed and whether it worked or not, watch my previous video so you will understand better. I don't want to explain it here. Okay, I'm trusting God for it. Why some are avoiding it? Please, God, may this October not pass me by. Amen. 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 In as much as most of us are trying to prevent, there are some people that want it. Yes, that is life for you, life no balance. So if you are among those that are seriously seeking for the fruit of the womb, I pray that God will answer your innermost desires, give you your heart desires in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So, is there any contraception that has no side effects? The answer is no. It all depends on your body. Some have long-term effects. Some have short-term effects. That is why before you go for any contraceptive, you just go for medical advice. Seek your doctor. He's going to run a test for you. Or sometimes they just use your history to give you your history, meaning your pregnancy history to give you the best contraceptive for you. Yes. So this particular comment, I'm sure she is from violence headquarters. Like she cut the table and scattered it. Yes, if you want to vex, you vex. <laughs> Mama, she has eaten now. Eh? I just fed you five minutes ago. What this person just carried up was scatter. Everybody, yeah. To your tent, oh Israel, <laughs> meeting has finished. So let me go ahead and read her comments. She said, withdrawal method is not even the problem, but the abortion that follows when it fails. 
Most married women now see abortion as normal thing. White TTC mothers are crying every day for just one baby. Life no balance. So, this is the painful truth, okay? If you know you are going for withdrawal method, be ready. Just make up your mind that anything can happen. From the scientific study, they say 78% effective. That means about 22, 22%. And I'm sure that that's if they should rewind that um, scientific study, it's going to be 50% effective as at now. Mm. So if you know you're not ready to even think of having another baby, I won't even advise you should keep trying withdrawal method. That's the pull out method. I won't even advise because it will get you frustrated knowing fully well that you do not want another child and it might it's likely to push you to go and you know so mm -mm. Just get a strong contraceptive. Okay. I think that is all. So, in my own opinion, concerning the Pulas method, I understand that most women react negatively to contraceptive. Yes. Some bleed, some have irregular periods, some have heavy periods with cramp. Some of us add weight, some have bloated stomach. But in as much as some of these contraceptives you hear on internet that they are very, very bad and the side effects are, are very, very bad, have you yourself tried it? Or are you still believing on the hearsay? Remember that no two women are the same. Then if you have tried and it is negative on you, like it is giving you all the red flags, then I'll advise you go for the BTL, that's the bilateral tubal ligation, if you are true and if your health is at risk. For example, a mom that has undergone post cesarean section. My is admiring me. For example, if you're a mom that has undergone four cesarean section, my dear sister, there's no need risking yourself for the fifth cesarean section, okay? I know someone will say, Ha, I have a neighbor that has done six years. She is strong. Her children are strong. You are not that neighbor. That's what you have to understand. So if you have undergone four cesarean section, BTL is best for you. And if you have made up your mind totally to stop childbearing, to stop giving birth to children, and you have discussed it with your partner, and you guys are very much okay with the BTL, you go for it. Personally, me, <laughs> that BTL is a very, very hard decision. It's a hard not to crack. The decision is not what I will just come and discuss here. <laughs> I will have to go home and think about it. Then, I haven't said all this, baby. He's not crying, he's just blabbing. Let me just round it up here, okay? I will see you guys in my next video. I come and say bye, let me go. Say bye, say bye, 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 say bye. And stop. It's not three words, so. <laughs> Three months, baby. I say bye. I'll see you guys in my next videos for now.